everybody, today I'm going to be doing a ladies survey 2013. This tag was created by Rosiana, Miss X Rojas on YouTube and I'll and I'll leave a link to the original survey and Rosiana below. So the first question is, do you agree that women have a harder time on the internet than men? If so, why? And is it helpful or harmful to acknowledge that? I do agree it's hard to face on the internet for women uh, because of like the the instant dismissal of things you have to say um, and also because of uh, the harassment and that like Hank Green said if it if the Vlog Brothers were the Vlog Sisters like they wouldn't be around because of the amount of harassment and hateful comments that uh, ladies get on YouTube and I think it is helpful to acknowledge that because then the problem is being made more aware and then more can be done about it to solve the problems that women face the second question is What's the best book, article, film, video you've seen this year about womanhood? This year I read Living Dolls of the Turn of Sexism by Natasha Walters. Um, I really enjoyed that book. It made me think uh, differently about quite a few things and it made me think more about things as well. And it made me realise how things aren't as good as they are perceived to be by the media. And as, it, and as I said, it made me think differently and a lot deeply about certain topics. Question 3. Is a focus on supportive networks like Wonderly of women beneficial or harmful to the cause? I think they're quite I think they're beneficial because things like Wonderly are making people more aware of like female content creators and female creators in general who I wouldn't have heard of otherwise and who other people wouldn't have heard of otherwise and it's kind of like the community spirit kind of thing of women and yeah as I said it's making people more aware since women, people this whole idea of that the women are underrepresented and all that jazz. Question 4. What have you alone done to support female creators over the past year? Are things better or worse than everywhere last year and what do you pledge to do for the next 12 months to support female creators? Uh, I've tried to dis I've tried to subscribe to more female YouTubers this year, and I think things are pretty much the same as they were last year. There are still so many more problems to fix, and the issue is becoming more prominent because of becoming YouTube, but it's not better at least. I uh, recently even tried to comment and share more videos by female creators, and so for the next twelve months, I'm going to try and have more of a focus on that and trying to continue to do that. And the final question is, who are your five favourite internet females? First of all, Rosianna, the creator of this survey herself. Um, recently, her videos have been excellent and, and she does really interesting, informative videos. And she cares deeply about this and she cares deeply about these issues. Well, obviously well enough to create a, a whole discussion about it. And I met her at LeakyCon this year and got to have a brief chat to her. And it was one of those moments when afterwards I thought of like a million more things that I could have talked to her about. Number two is Sana from Books and Quills on YouTube. Her videos are pretty much flawless. I can't, I can't think of a single way to improve them. And uh, she's very passionate about what she talks about. She's very passionate about books and she inspired me to kind of YouTube and talk about what and she inspired me to YouTube and talk about books. Thirdly, uh, Louise from Sprinkled Glitter. She's a beauty and fashion blog and YouTube. I've recently fallen a bit in love with Louise, to be honest, over the summer. I've become, I've become a little bit obsessed with her. I think she's an, I think she's an excellent role model, particularly for her audience, particularly for her audience made up of teenage girls, thirteen to eighteen. As she talks about body confidence and being happy. And she's been through like a lot in her life, so she's kind of the kind of the perfect person to talk about that kind of topic. And also related back to the thing of how she aims for a target audience, she buys things from Primark rather than like Motel Rocks or like Topshop or things like or places like that. And she like tries to recommend to you affordable beauty products to buy. Fourth is a uh, Fourth is Grace Helbig from Daily Grace on YouTube. I absolutely adore her videos. She's so funny and she makes good original 
content and I'm so excited to see Camp Dakota film with Mamie and Hannah Hart. And lastly a blogger called Rosie, her blog is called Londoner.me, I recently found it and she's she has an excellent blog, she takes, she does really good posts about her life. So I'm going to tag two people in this, uh, I really, I hope they do this, even though they probably have no idea who I am. So, but I'm going to tag Jess from Nerds Will Win and Pascal de Bon. So I look forward to seeing your responses, girls. I'll leave all links down below to my five favourite internet females and the people I'm tagging. And that's all for today. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye!